Many people get into the short-term rental game for one reason, and that is financial freedom. In this video, I'm gonna give you some tips that's going to help you or tips that you can apply immediately to help you either reach the numbers that you hope for when you got into this game, or if you're thinking about getting into the short-term rental game, these tips will help you get started on the right foot, right? The first one we're gonna talk about is being strategic. Be very st strategic with your decision making. Don't just wing this, people. There's Today, there's absolutely no reason why you should not use data. There's plenty of information out there that you can apply towards your business, but don't just replicate other people. Take what you, you receive and be creative with that. So I'm gonna give you an example. For many of you, the biggest or the hardest thing is going to, at uh, the beginning, is with acquisition. You know, getting your first property. What I mean by being very strategic with that is if you have no money, then focus on obtaining money. There's plenty of ways to raise funds, either through private money, to through hard money, obviously traditionally through banks, but be creative and really focus and be strategic on that one aspect as it relates to acquisition. If it's money, then focus on that. If you have money, then you need to focus and be very strategic as to where you're gonna go and apply that money. For example, don't just go where everyone's going to, like Miami, like New York, like LA. Those places are proven. They're great places to get into. But when you're starting out, you may be better off looking at markets that are a little bit smaller, but are up and coming. So just think about that and be very strategic, strategic with your decision making. The next one, it's a big one. And this stops a lot of people and prevents them from moving forward. And that's assessing your risk tolerance. We all have different tolerance for risk. For example, I tend to have a very high risk tolerance. I make a lot of decisions that for some people can be very risky, but I make those decisions because I'm strategic with my thinking. And we're gonna discuss the second one. I use a lot of data. Or the next tip I'm gonna give you is related to data. But understand that you need to know where you fall in within that risk tolerance uh, levels, right? If you're not that risk adverse, then you need to spend more time analyzing and being a little bit more basic. Meaning, if you look at data, three twos and two twos are almost a no-brainer, right? They're gonna do well in any market in a short-term rental game. So stick to that. But if you have tolerance for risk that's higher, then you could do something different, like go with a 2-1. You can go with something non-traditional, like, like a container home. Anything else that for the average person Person may tell themselves that's too risky, but for you it may not be. Really address your risk tolerance, and then once you know where you are within that that uh, a spectrum, then you can go ahead and apply that first tip of being strategic and looking for that specific property that you're going to be able to, to uh, feel comfortable with. The next thing, very important, is once you have that. You need to delegate, delegate, delegate. I said this before, I'm gonna to continue to say this. You cannot be everything in your business. You can't be the maintenance guy, you can't be the housekeeper, you can't be the accountant, you can't be the social media guy. You have to decide what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are. And whatever your strength is, double down on that. And then your weaknesses, whatever you're weak at, delegate that. The next is, and this is the one that I think it's very big, is keeping an eye on data. Data is your best friend in this business. And there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't obtain and study data, because data is everywhere now. You can get data in the short-term rental game. There's so many companies that are providing you the necessary data that you need to make educated decisions. But if you are an operator and you've been operating for a while, for example, I'm gonna use myself for example. We, our PMS system gives me plenty of data that I can study on a regular basis to make educated decisions as to how to go forward uh, with my company, with my properties, and using data, looking for trends, so that I can figure out who to market to. Data is your best friend. Today, there's no reason why you shouldn't be using it, and I'm gonna give you some companies that you can use, AirDNA, Price Lab, Key Data are, are my three go-tos, but there's others that I think, um, real quick, Market Minder is another one that you can use to obtain the necessary data so that you can make educated decisions. I hope this short video was useful. If it was, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Follow me on Instagram. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.